Good morning YouTube and I'm here to bring you more news regarding BSG and the whole situation. I am bringing you the news but I can't say I'm bringing you good news. So recently there was a leaked uh, interview with Nikita and Emmy. I guess Emmy is in a mystery like they help BSG out, they do something for BSG uh, one way or another and there's literally four, four long screenshots. So what we're gonna do in this video, I summarize the most important points in my opinion from this interview in a small list so i'm gonna go through them um if you if you don't want to spend too much time um with me going through all of the screenshots i'm just gonna give you the main points straight away and then i'm gonna read through the screenshots and share my opinions or add any details if i have and uh, once again bsg confirmed that this interview is legit this interview is real however bsg also said that this interview is not full yet they're gonna get more questions from um, emissaries from different countries and they will edit it a little bit to make it more readable to make sure that things are not out of context and then they're going to release it so let's go through through the points i outline so first of all nikita said that new edition is not a mistake um uh, emissary said like do you feel like this is a mistake and you should apologize for that nikita said the new edition is not a mistake they uh, done it the way they done it and they don't feel like the new edition and everything regarding the new edition is a mistake don't, they don't feel like Nikita also mentioned there is no money issues in the company. Um, he said that PvE mode, the new PvE mode, is too expensive and only those who support will get that option. He said that running that PvE mode on the servers is too pricey and that's why they cannot give it to everyone. Um, so, um, Emissary asked them if there is any new solutions since the Reddit post. Um, which I discussed in my previous YouTube video, Nikita said no, BSG don't really plan on doing anything else. Um, the new items, the radio and the um, calling into the radio or friends Avengers thingy will be both PvP and PvE. The summoning item uh, with which you can summon your friends uh, will be available for other editions, not just for the most expensive one, it will be an obtainable item. I guess it means there will be a quest line through which you can unlock the new, the new items. Uh, there will be cat in hideout as well as maybe dogs coming sometime later. Nikita said that also Omnicron container will be added sometime soon. Omnicron container is basically same size as Kappa, except it will have um, like one by one or one by three slots. So let's say you're gonna get Gamma three by three, and then you're gonna get another like one by three um, on top of it. Uh, BG, uh, Nikita said that they are thinking about maybe lowering the price for the new edition. Uh, he mentioned that regarding upgrading from EOD to the new edition, so maybe if you have EOD, upgrading to the new edition will be cheaper than it is right now. Not sure if they're going to bring the price down for the edition if you buy it from, from zero, like if you don't have um, EOD. He also mentioned that EOD gets all the DLCs, uh, all the future DLCs. Um, BG will think about adding more new skins and other things. Uh, that's to do with um, BG making more money with monetizing the game. They might add skins, uh, maybe new faces, beards, tats, maybe some voice packs. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, he said that BG is thinking about monetizing the game in a different way, like with uh, some additional things. And Nikita also got asked about Arena LAN esports uh, roadmap, and he said they are working on it. So I think those are mo the most important points from the interview. And uh, if you want to learn about the interview in more details, uh, please uh, stay around. I'm going to go through the screenshots. I'm going to read it out for you. And if I have any opinions, I will share it. So, um, I don't know if I can open this in an additional tab because Reddit doesn't let me zoom in. Um, so, I'll post, I'll post this uh, link in the comments down below. And if you want to, you can read it yourself. But let's go, let's go through the interview. Uh, suggestion. Make statement. Knowing that you admitting a mistake was, uh, was made is hard. Uh, answer. Mistake? This is not a mistake. Question. Why? Answer. It's time to start preparing for the release. It's time to understand who are the true believers. No one is forcing you to do anything. It's your choice to just bail, don't buy, etc. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a wrong take. Um saying it's time to understand who the true believers because i think the true believers are the people that bought aod freaking seven years ago when the game just started development 
I think those guys are the true believers. Like they gave 150 bucks to support the company and uh, out of question, those guys are the true believers, bro. Of course, there is many more, but people who bought EAD ages ago are 100% true believers. Like it's not even worth discussing. Question. It's totally understandable that any company wants to have more revenue. Wouldn't it be better to release a support pack while being honest with the community? Answer. We are honest with the community. We are not forcing anyone. Question. I would ask if there is some kind of money issues issue for EFT. Should we be worried about the full release? Answer. Everything is fine and going as planned. Question. Do you plan on addressing the community again anytime soon? Your post on Reddit unfortunately wasn't received well by majority of the community. They still feel like they are waiting for the right response. Answer. The wanting to be as they want and feel. Um, I don't really know, but if I were to rephrase it, I guess he meant they, they like... They can, they can feel however they want. Uh, comment from Nikita, important part. We cannot give PvE to everyone. It is too expensive and technically hard right now. Those who will support will still get this option. Um, yeah, once again, I mean, I don't know. EOD should have it for free in my opinion, because originally we were promised that EOD gets everything in the future. That's uh, one of the reasons why people bought this pack, like if not to support the company, but to make sure that they don't have to pay for anything in the future. So I still think this is this is wrong. This is um, a bit misleading, in my opinion. Question. Are there any other solutions being contemplated, uh, well, discussed, since the reception to the Reddit thread was not good? Answer, no. So after the yesterday's Reddit post where Nikita said we're going to add this, that, that, that to EOD, uh, BG are not thinking about uh, changing anything else. So they're going to go with whatever they posted on Reddit uh, yesterday. Is there a question? Is there any plan to back out or try to put water on that fire aside from the EOD features mentioned on Reddit? Answer. No, we continue working hard, preparing updates for everyone. No more harsh changes. It is an important moment in the history of EFT, but I feel that is what needed, I believe. Question. Will the new items that come uh, with the new edition be only in PvE or PvP servers too? Answer. They are PvP and PvE, as well as the new EOD item. Uh, mentioned in the previous Reddit post, there will be a new EOD item called something something. I don't know what it does, uh, but it, it will be both PvE and PvE, PvP and PvE, which doesn't really make sense because EOD don't really get PvE, or we get it for six months. Either way, that's that's a topic for another video. Question: Can we get a bit more info on how the most controversial features will work, namely summoning teammates? Any limitations to prevent abuse? Scavs uh, not shooting players with high karma. Will those be only for PvE, or are they still being worked on? It is being worked on and Friend Summoner will be available to get for other editions too. Can we get a choice between Hideout Dog and Cat or Cat only? Cat is in the plans, Dog later. Uh, Friends Summon feature, will it be like an expansion? No, it will be an obtainable item. Why not let this be only in PvE? It's a cool mechanic for PvP too. Question. One of the most discussed subjects regarding the whole situation is the removal of the DLC line for the EOD on the website. Answer. Uh, what? I don't know if they removed the DLC line on EOD website, but they did remove arena information on... Um, so, whenever you were buying EOD, it said uh, EOD includes all DLCs uh, such as arena. And BSG removed such as arena. And I think right now it says only DLC without arena. I think that's what they're talking about, even though there is a bit of miscommunication. Um, would it be possible, since we're all under multiple NDA, to be more involved? Uh, blah, 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 um, so we can prep our communities for future updates for the feedback. We will think about, we will think something out. So the guy's saying like a mystery should get information early to make sure that uh, such patches don't, don't get released or they get released in another way. So community is not as pissed. That's what he's saying. A mystery armband when? We will do it. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I think those being in PvP is a bad idea. I'm going to make, it's going to make RMT go through the roof or stream sniping. Answer, I don't think so, we can always restrict it. Uh, okay. Is there a chance that community representatives and long-time emissaries get involved in the discussion if announced package or a special item would be seen in a good way from the community or not? I guess with this we could get rid of, um, of a lot of hate uh, that comes. We will use this more next time. That's the answer. Question. Gamma Container. Many thought it was supposed to be gone after EOD, but it returned with a new edition. Any plans to change something? Answer. It is possible. Omnicron Container. Soon maybe? Answer. Yes. What is the official stance of SPT now? 
uh, because clean was streaming it without issues. Answer, let them be for now. I mean, I don't know, it's just, it, like, all the answers are really vague, in my opinion. Like, let them be for now. Like, clean can stream uh, SPT now, shimmers can stream SPT now, but in the future they will ban. Like, what does, it, what does this mean, let them be for now? This is, like, very, very vague. Uh, regarding the DLC line, when you check out the prep pre-order page, the season pass line for EOD has been removed, but we can find it using the internet archive. Answer, we didn't remove that. Uh, once again, I think there is a miscommunication. Um, the information regarding Arena was removed, not the DLC uh, line. Question: I understand that PVE feature can be given to can't be given to everyone due to technical limitations. At the same time, EOD users feel they should have this permanently, not temporary, since it's new and much desired content. And the promise for EOD is that players who got EOD wouldn't have to pay for additional content if they contribute for the most expensive at the time package. Any chance to reconsider and make PvE feature for EOD permanent? Answer. Did you read above? We will provide it for at least six months. Um, yeah, six month trial, trial package. There you go. Question. Is there any chance of lowering the pricing of uh, the new edition for EOD owners? Answer. We're thinking about it. Question. Uh, if EOD owners do not get the PvE, are there still, in fact, things planned that will go to EOD DLCs, for example? Answer. Of course, every DLC later will go with EOD. Question, will there be future additions like PvE that do not go to EOD, but will go to the newest version? Answer, not planned. Question, will EOD continue to be the flagship of all versions of the game looking forward? Answer, uh, Unheard Edition is just another signature thing, EOD is still important. Question, can we, Emissary and Sherpas, have the option uh, in settings to change our display name for purple green to EOD version? Many of us are getting uh, targeted for harassment and changing the name when we don't want to, would be nice. Uh, answer, we plan to do it. Um, question. I've been thinking... Uh, <laughs> I've been talking to some uh, PT players from different communities and the opinions, feelings are basically the same. They also have the EOD version, are disappointed with all of this. In discords that I have um, and in which I publish the news, there was always someone playing Tarkov. These discords are completely empty. Sorry, that's my notification. The small PT streamers uh, we have there were always two of them th streaming the game and no one is streaming Tarkov. This was a bomb in the community. In relation to Nikita's post on Reddit, players who have EOD don't want to have priority over others to enter the match. They think that this is pulling throw sand to the eyes of the community trying to solve the problem after it's done. Many of them say that the new version for 40 or 60 euros would be acceptable. My notification, sorry. Uh, like this is just too expensive. Um, mm -hmm. SPT, many of them watched Clean play SPT yesterday, and many of them watched The Rocktick doing the same thing today. A, let them change the side. Um, once again, very vague. Thanks for answering my questions uh, for us. We're all uh, so passionate about this game, and when the community is outraged, we feel it as well. Since we are representatives of our community, I would love for us to help craft clear communication in the future if possible, and be more involved in getting ahead of any potential drama or outrage. Answer, I feel you, but I'm the most confident right now as ever. Stay strong. Question, I'm reaching out to discuss the pricing of PvE content, which might be high for newcomers. Wouldn't introducing more uh, accessible option could mitigate this barrier and prevent new players from seeking alternatives like SPT, single player Tarkov. Regarding the amortization strategy, many long standing supporters, myself included, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the guy is saying is like, are you willing to add new skins or any other a lower risk strategy um, in terms of community engagement? Answer, we will think about it. Question, is it possible that in the future PV mode will be sold as an independent upgrade? A good number of users in the community are interested in being able to play this way with friends, but then they do not justify it by paying for the most expensive version. Could help mitigate the SPT users. Answer, it is possible, but after release. Question, regional pricing for regions where 150 was already pretty expensive. Answer, can't tell. Question, Arena LAN eSports roadmap when? Answer, working on that. So this is more or less the whole interview. I think it's very vague. Uh, I guess we should wait for um, the original interview that BSG are gonna are gonna release. But I don't think the fundamental points are gonna change, such as uh, I don't know Arena Esports roadmap, the thing that BSG don't wanna give um, PV mode to uh, AOD users. Also, not admitting or not thinking that releasing this uh, new edition was a mistake because they say this is not a mistake. That's the right thing to do. Um, so yeah. 
Uh, if you want to spread the word about this interview, give this video a thumbs up. That will help a YouTube algorithm to um, share this video with uh, more viewers and uh, share your thoughts about the interview down in the comments. My thoughts are very simple. It's very vague and um, I didn't buy the new version because I think uh, it's not fair. First of all, uh, it's too expensive. Like if you don't have the game, it's too expensive. Secondly, EOD users will promise the content for free and the content which is included in the new version we EOD users don't have it. That is also unfair. Um, and yeah, I don't think this is the best way to tackle the problem. I shared on my Twitter that probably the best way, well, from my from my perspective, if I were if if I owned the BSG, if I owned hundred percent of shares of BSG, I would do this thing: um, refund all the users who bought the new edition, uh, give the new edition um, to EOD users like the the armband, the knife, the whatever. Um, give PVE, um, the new PVE mode to EOD users as well and make it purchasable on website separately for let's say $20. You pay $20 and then you get you get the uh, PVE co-op mode with uh, progress and make the new items uh, quest locked. Um, so bigger pockets, uh, summoning um, your friends and the new radio against the scabs. Make those three items uh, achievable by any addition in the game through questing. And then you add more skins, you add beards for PMCs, you add tattoos, you get, uh, I don't know, freaking customizable watches, you get new voice packs, I don't know, get a USEC with a British accent, for example, that'd be freaking sick, and uh, sell, sell those cosmetics on the website. Make it so people can buy it for 10, 20, 30, 50 dollars, whatever, and make sure that those cosmetics are, um, you can get them in game by doing some quests. For example, if you want Big Pipe's beard, you can either purchase it for 20 dollars on the website, or you can kill him in the game 10 times and you get the same beard. I think a lot of people would support um, such time, such such type of microtransactions as long as they stay within the world and we, could, we don't get like a pink-haired, pink-dressed Nicki Minaj skin, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's what I would have done, but I don't own BSG. I can only advise and share my opinion. Uh, so yeah, not much else to say. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, check me out on Twitch, check out my Twitter. Links are in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.